Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to finally make our way into Liernia. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about some of the things I did off camera. It's really not much. I did farm up 162,000 runes. I also went ahead and equipped some neutralizing bolluses because we're going to need them a little later in the video. Let's come over to this grace and level up really fast. We're going to put one into vigor. One into Endurance, Strength, and Dexterity. We're going to go to our map. And there were a couple of things I was not able to fit into the last video. Along with one thing that I forgot to do whenever we were in Limgrave. So first things first, let's go ahead and go over to the first step. I'll see everybody over there. Right here, we can see that Vare is gone. We can read the message that he left us. It says, find yourself maidenless. Off to Liernia with you then. Seek the Rose Church west of the gate town. We also get the Bravo emote. We're going to come back over to our map. And over here by the third church of America... I forgot to come over to this graveyard here and grab a few items. So I put a marker down and then I'll see everybody over at the third church of America. Hop on torn. Come straight out here. Hop up top, using the spirit spring. We'll use another spirit spring. We're going to be facing west. That way we can get up on this ledge. And then just past this rock here. Just right here, we can hop down safely without dying get rid of this marker grab that rune grab this rune and this one and then the last one right here we're going to head back to our map. We're going to go over to the round table hold. I'll see everybody over there. Don't forget, triangle, square, and X will bring you straight to the round table hold. We're going to come over here where Gideon is and talk to Nefeli Lou. You again. I thought you'd receive a summons to the round table. Nefeli Lu. We met at Stormvale. I'm glad to see you here. I have something for you. I found it in Godric's grafting grounds. You defeated him. You should have it. Make good use of it. I don't intend to make a habit of scavenging corpses. Ah, yes. I wonder if you've met my foster father. He's in his study. The room enters guarding just over there. If you haven't already, I advise you introduce yourself. Father is leader of the round table. I'm sure talking to him will be worth your while. That arsenal charm that she just gave us will, or well, not charm, it's a talisman. 
Um, that will up our equipment load. So if you're fat rolling or mid rolling and you like to mid roll or quick roll, you can put that arsenal charm on and it'll help you out a ton. For now, let's go ahead and talk to Gideon and ask him about Nefeli Lou. Uh, you. What is it? I understand you've been speaking to Nefeli. She's my daughter. I took her in when she lost the guidance of grace. Though a mere axe-wielding barbarian, her youthful credulity suited my purposes. So I put her to work. Do not hesitate to employ her. Should her services benefit you? Despite her looks, she is more than capable in the press of battle. She looks like she can handle herself, Gideon. We're going to head back over to Stormvale Castle and go to the Godric the Grafted Grace. I'll see everybody over there. Let's put on our lantern. And we're going to run straight up this stairway here and open up the devil door. Off to the right is a dead end. So we're going to take the left path. This is the way to proceed through. We're going to hop off here. Turn around immediately. Grab ourselves a Shabriri grape. Just as fast as we got it. We're going to be giving it to an NPC. Her name is Hayeta. But before we do that, let's take our first look at Liernia. It's raining right now, so it's not as pretty as it normally is. We'll light this grace. And then we'll talk to Hayeta. Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayeta. And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. She gives us the as you wish emote. Let's sit at this grace. That's going to make Hayata disappear and Bach appear. Now, real quick, we can alter our garments if we'd like. It will cost us runes, about 500 to be precise. But if we come over here to Bach, talk to him for a minute, he will alter our garments for free. Good to see you, Master. Do you uh, remember me? Bok, the demi-human. You helped me before and retrieved my sewing needle. Please, master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Master, I was wondering, do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? I would, well, rather you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. If you want to alter your garments, feel free. Bach will stay over here. 
until we get to a certain area and he'll move over there and he'll stay over there for a certain amount of time until we move to another area and then he'll move again. Oh, going so soon? Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. So Bach will follow us as we journey through the lands between to become the Elden Lord. Right here we can pick up a sacred tier. We can also talk to this NPC. This is Tops. You're tarnished, aren't you? Then perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Blintstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Well, bless you, bless you. You are a true saint. My name is Topes. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. Oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate leading to the capital, and the south gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active, making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer, with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the academy. And you'll never reach the Erdtree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps... Once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a blunt stone. Nary a hint of talent for sorcery. But still, my place is at the Academy. You've taken an apprenticeship with Selen. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Selen was expelled from the Academy, accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers, under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. He can teach you a few sorceries if you like we're gonna hop on torrent and then just over here through this broken wall in the church there's a path we're coming over here to get a warming stone we're gonna pick it up Turn around and run away. Just backtrack the way we came. And then over here, we're going to pick up the Academy Scroll. Again, we're gonna Turn around and backtrack just a bit. Come down this path here. And finally head down into Lierni of the Lakes. Be 
Be careful not to get hit by that. If you get hit by the item he throws, you will be unable to heal for a short time. These Cuckoo Knights. Or, no, I don't think these are Cuckoo Knights. Or, I was wrong. They are Cuckoo Knights. They do have a chance to throw a Glintstone Chunk. So be careful of that. Grab the Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 1. That's the first one of many. And right here we can grab some smoldering butterflies. We're going to head north. Down to this grace and a merchant. You're new around here. Surprised you found me in my little nook. No matter, no matter. Your money's as good as anyone else's. Why don't you take a look at my wares? Oh, but don't ask me how I got my hands on them, eh? Right here, he will sell us the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 11. We're going to pick that up. We're also going to pick up the three smithing stone twos he sells. If you still don't have the lantern, you can buy it here along with a few other items he has. We're not going to hop on Torrent. We're actually going to walk down this way heading north. And up top we have an enemy. He's going to jump down at us. can take him out fairly easily. Be careful. You'll have a second one sneaking up on you. And then we're going to head northwest. Mostly north, but a little northwest. These guys will drop Grave Violet fairly often. It's a common drop for them. We're going to pick up the first map fragment. This is going to be Lyernia East. We're going to pick up all the map fragments in Lyernia before we actually start exploring it. So real quick, let's put a marker right there. We're going to hop on Torrent, and I would advise everybody to stay to the far right here. That way we don't have a ton of enemies aggroed to us while we try to light the grace and pick up another cookbook. Go ahead and light the grace. Pick up the Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 2. And then over here, where this marker is, there is a teleporter. Do not worry about any of the enemies around the teleporter. Just go straight into the teleporter and warp to the, to the area that we're going to. These enemies can be quite tough. All at once. We'll come back and we will kill them much later into the walkthrough. But for now, just go through the teleporter. We're going to come up here. Light ourselves a grace. And then we'll pick up meeting place map. If we come into our inventory, go over here, 
hit square. It'll show us the location that we need to go to to get the key for the Rhea Lucaria Academy. We're not going to be going over there anytime soon. For now, we're going to hop on Torrent. We're going to backtrack out of Rhea Lucaria Academy. That is a mouthful. I'm not going to pick up any of these items inside here. We will get them when we actually come through this area. If you want to grab them, feel free. I'm not going to you know, tell everybody, hey, don't grab these items. It's not going to affect your experience at all. Over here is a finger reading maiden. Let's go ahead and talk to her. You, please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Oh, bless you. Oh, Michaela's favor can be yours. Slaughter. 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 The all hearing slaughtered. But alas, it was for naught. But all you need do is snatch it from the big pot. <laughs> Pretty the poor, poor fool. <laughs> Right here, we can see that we can hop down. If you hop straight down, you're going to die. The fall is too high. So what we want to do is hop straight over here to this rooftop. You can see there's a golden seed down there. If you'd like to grab it, feel free. I'm not going to. We're just going to head east down this path careful for those enemies don't want to aggro them just keep heading east and we're gonna run into our next map fragment go ahead and touch this grace real fast and then pick up the map Liernia North. Let's come up here. We're going to put a marker next to this gazebo here. This is going to be another teleporter. This is going to send us to the third and last piece of the map fragments. You head north. And then as soon as you get to this building here, spear off to the left. And then right here by these trees. Lanyer. No, Lanyer. It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Hello, friend. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refuse to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. So this is where Dialos is. He finally found Lianya, and she is dead. So we'll leave him be. His story will continue a little later. For now, let's keep making our way towards the marker. Let's go through this teleporter.
pick up the last map fragment. This is going to be Lyernia West. If we come southwest here, we have another Grace. Let's go ahead and light that real fast. And then now we have the full map of Lyernia unlocked. We're going to head over to Lyernia Lakeshore. Grace, I'll see everybody over there. To open up our map, we're going to put a marker just right here. And then one right here. And then one right here and then lastly one right there so if you do not have any neutralizing bolluses I would suggest everybody farming up a few material to be able to make at least a couple we're gonna need them going through this next area here Follow the shoreline here. Once you see the jelly boys, you'll know that you're in the right area. Turn on our lantern so everybody can see. Light the grace. Activate this summoning pool. Grab ourselves a golden rune three, some crystal cave moss, a little bit of regular cave moss. There we have a bat. Be careful. We have an enemy right here. We can get behind him and then jump across. We're gonna have two of these guys. They have a chance of dropping some toxic mushrooms. Pick up some budding cave moss. Try to pick up every bit of crafting materials you can. Right here we can see two bats hanging up top. We want to shoot them down. Take them out. Shoot the next one. There we go. And then off to the right here, we have a female bat lady, the one that sings. We can knock her down. Take her out pretty easily. Grab ourselves some golden runes along with some serpent arrows. Grab the sage set. And then we will backtrack. Now over here, what I like to do is hop down, grab that item and then run back up top, jump across here, and then continue down this pathway. This is the only item over here. Just run across. Take this left side. We're gonna have a few bats that drop down. Take him out. If you want to take all these enemies out, feel free. I'm not going to bother with them. We have a stake of America. 
Just in case you die. Quick run back. Some poison bloom. Finally poisoned. Let's go ahead and use some neutralizing bolluses. We can take the neutralizing bolluses off now. And then drink our flask. And go through the fog wall. We're going to pull out Oleg. Right here is our first clean rot night. Pretty easy fight. Not hard at all. I mean, this cave itself is really easy. There we go. Ole put some work in. We get the winged sword insignia. That is a talisman. Let's go ahead and fast travel back to the beginning of the cave. We're going to turn on our lantern and then backtrack out of here. We're going to hop on Torrent. We are off to the right here. Follow the shoreline around here until we get to this opening just right here. And we're going to use the spirit spring to jump up. We'll hop off torrent. And up top, that uh, marker is a little too high up there, so we'll just leave it there for now. And head to marker number four. You can see a troll down there in the distance. We're going to kill it. That way we can grab the item we came here for without having to dodge a troll's attacks. And he's dead. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're going to open up this chest, grab ourselves the tree spear, and then hop on torrent one last time. We're going to head over to this grace. We're going to rest at it, use our sacred tier, and then I think we'll end the video just over there. And when we come back, we will start exploring the Urnia to the fullest. Oh, there's that marker. Guess it wasn't high up there, just was behind the rock pillar there. Let's go to our flasks. Increase the amount replenished by flasks. And then I think right about here is a good place to end the video. So I want to start by telling everybody, thank you so very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't hit the thumbs down button, let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content, 
just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.